on to the girl here. Today I'm here with part three of my Galadriel Halloween costume. I apologize in advance for any noises. So today's Tuesday. School starts on Thursday and I'm within a stone's throw. Three different schools so there's a lot of traffic going by. A lot of people doing last minute preparations. But here I am with part three of Galadriel's dress. I'm doing the white dicky. What some people do is that they would make the white part a completely separate dress and have the gray dress over it. Which is also an option you could do, but I decided to go this route to reduce bulk and how the pattern did it. You have this nice kind of overlay here that goes up to about the shoulder seams. I ironed mine so it lies a bit flatter. And I also have these nice little beads here. Oh, there goes the car. I have these little beads here. And I'll be showing the placement of the gray fabric shortly. But in the movie, in the stand-up, I could see they had silver beads. These are ice flake quartz beads I got on Fire Mountain Gems. They're size 6 millimeter. So you can use silver beads if you want, but you got to be careful because silver will tarnish. So if you can, try finding something that looks silver without actually being silver. That way you don't have to replace them. You don't have to worry about your fabric being ruined or anything like that. Don't really know how well the floral print's going to show up. But what I used for mine was lawn, and it has this nice little flower print that looks kind of like the simplified version of Gladriel's necklace. I'll be linking to this in the description. You can see all these nice little beads, all nice little beads. I'll take some of these pins out, that way you can see what it looks like if it was lying flat. So, it's sewn in at the shoulder seam, and off and on during the side seams. Oh, there it is. That's what I get for using white pi pins with white heads. It's hard to see them. Back. Okay, there we go. That's the last of them. It's getting nice and wide there. You get a lot of coverage. So I definitely recommend is that either laying down the gray fabric first, that way you know where your pieces are, then beading them, or completing the dress, then adding your nice little beads. I put the gray fabric here, that way you can see the approximate place of where the gray fabric for the dress will be. This right here is my facing. I still need to turn it under and hem it up, that way it won't fray and it'll look a bit more professional. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.